Hey guys, welcome to my first weekly vlog in Dubai. I actually can't believe that I'm recording this. Like this is my first vlog in Dubai. The first of many because as you guys know by now, I live here. Okay guys, listen, the place is a mess. I've got all my shipments over here. We're gonna get all of that sorted. He's been very insecure about it. I don't really care because we've just moved homes really. We've got cleaners coming tomorrow to fix up, but today is an exciting day because my baby is getting, what are you getting? My car back. So we're gonna show you guys what he did to his car when we're there and then we're gonna go and visit AAA Luxury Headquarters. This is the first time that we're gonna see um, their boutique. So he is part owner of AAA Luxury. They basically buy and sell watches, right? That's basically what they do. And we're gonna go see the boutique because they've been working on it for months and months now. That looks so cool. You see the so you engine. You can see the engine from here. That's And it's all sick. carbon fiber. So this is a Jaguar F-Type SVR um, and we've just done a few adjustments to it. So we fitted new wheels. 21 inch wheels at the front. 22 inch wheels at the back. I was gonna say, you know, it looks like a toy car, don't you think? Yeah. Like it looks like just literally a toy car. Exactly, exactly. And then the paint, didn't you guys so, fix this paint yeah, as well? Yeah, polished the paint, PPF'd it, so protection on it. Look at the shine on this car, guys. Like, I'm about to be passenger princess in this car. Are you gonna let me drive it? No, it's my car. <laughs> Part of me is convinced that he might love this car more than he loves me. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely loves his car more than he loves me. Damn, this shit is loud. How am I gonna vlog in the car like this? Get in, loser. We're going shopping. <laughs> is it this building? Yeah. On what floor? 44. 44. 44? Is that a word? Yeah. 4401 is where you guys can find AAA luxury. Crazy. You can see so far here. I thought this place was a lot more done than it actually is. I thought the furniture was in. This is their kind of statement piece here. It's got like these A's that come down for AAA. There's three owners, Ahmed, Ali and Adi, and that's AAA, obviously. And they're gonna have like little compartments here for watches to be in. Watch, a watch is gonna go all around here. Yeah. Watches are gonna go all around here. This is my first time actually seeing this place. Like I've only ever seen it through videos and pictures and it's such a different experience actually seeing it in person. I'm so happy for them. I really want this to be done though because they've been waiting a very long time for this to be finished. There's been a lot of delays. We've arrived at Emirates Mall. This is so beautiful. We're currently deciding where to go eat. This is where the food court is. That's actually the cinema. It's all like no, it's food not a, This is not a food court. This is where the restaurant is. There's another food court. And then there's a bunch of restaurants around. Oh, okay. That's more like fast food, you said. Yeah, the food court yeah. is more like fast food. But he's, he said we have to go to, what's it called? P.F. Chang's. Here it is, P.F. Chang. So we've quickly come to this place called the Nubi home this is just like a home store we ordered like a little kitchen island table from here yesterday so we're gonna go have a look at that and then just have a look at what other kind of things they have we need some curtains i don't know how but this man has been sleeping with no curtains like it's broad daylight cute this is a really cute place what is that Okay guys, so this is what we ordered yesterday online. The reason that we want to get something like this is because we have minimal counter space with our kitchen. So I wanted something that doubles as like an island that's like, you know, like tall enough to be an island. And then also to be like a dining table to maximize our space. It's got like these little compartments here. It's like the perfect height for like chopping things, doing things. And it's not going to take up too much space in our home. I think it should be perfect. They do have something similar over here, but I don't like that it's a square, number one. And number two, I think it's a bit higher up. Yeah, I'm not vibing with that. I left Ahmed with the curtains. Let's go see what he's doing because Lord knows we might have orange curtains by the end of this. We can make it automated like it opens and closes. One of these three? Yeah. 
Oh, really? I feel like it's this one. Yeah, this one. I feel like it's, it looks a little bit yellow though. Am I tripping? I think this is the closest shade. We were originally gonna go with this shade, but I don't think our bed is that yellow. Look at what came, guys. It's our little island. It's actually the perfect height with everything else. It just fits in great with the home. We literally just have like this little bit. This is where the dish rack is gonna go. And honestly, I just don't understand, guys, because they've got a plug over here, but they don't have a plug over here. And they decided to put the plug next to the sink, and I hate having electronics next to the sink. Like, it makes no sense. So we're gonna have to try to figure something out because I would ideally like to put that there. And we've got these little chairs with it. They go with the sofa. And then these are the little compartments. We could put things like food-related things in there, but honestly, we have so much storage space in the kitchen that I would rather put, like, some plants there, something cute, ignore the amount of water that Ahmed has decided to order. Yeah, I, agree. <laughs> I just want you guys to understand the humidity right now here in Dubai. Look at our floor. Look at our TV. We had to leave this balcony door open for how long, babe? Jenny, 10 minutes? Mm. And it's all steamed. Steam, steam, steam. Look at how swaggy he looks though. What are we off to do today? What are we off to do? Change the bonnet of my car. To the um, one where you can see his engine, like you guys saw before. Excited? Very excited. Lazy Sunday mornings, hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you. Play your favorite movie, laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two The corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home With you I never feel alone These little songs Make me glad to call you mine And you have got my head in the clouds oh. One, two, three I just feel kind of awkward talking in front of you I feel like you should interact a little bit It feels really awkward We're back from the mall, it was so much fun It's such a big mall And Ahmed keep tell kept telling me like it You're not even understanding how big this mall is But I actually saw quite a few of you guys there And you were so sweet You know what, it's so funny because on social media I really like, I don't get phased by like reaching millions of people, whatever and know that millions of people are watching me But when I'm in person, I don't know, I just I feel like I just get social anxiety but that's why like I prefer it when you guys come up to me and you talk to me rather than just being like I know they know who I am and they keep looking at me I wish like you know you would just break that barrier and just come up to me because then I get so much social anxiety when I'm in those scenarios but anyway it was so much fun I got some cute pieces from Zara I look so yellow right oh it's the TV but anyway on the car home my ovary started telling me that it's that time of the month so Ran to the pharmacy, got some ibuprofen, got a hot water bottle, I've got my snacks. I found my Kinder Egg, which I was convinced Ahmed ate, but he's lucky. Otherwise, I would have made him go get me one because I've been craving this all day. Anyway, we're just gonna relax for the rest of the night and do what we know best, which is watch Netflix. What are we gonna watch? Did you put the food in the fridge? Did you put the food in the fridge? Didn't I ask you to do that? Mm -hmm. Did you put the food in the fridge? Of course he didn't because you know what? I put the food in the fridge because I knew he wasn't going to do it. You did? Yes. As always, I know he's not going to do something so I do it and then I question him and I ask him, did you do this thing? And he's like, oh my god, no. Did you make the Amazon purchase? I don't know. So to do that. Anyway, I guess this is what married life is now. <laughs> I don't know whether we should watch a movie or we should watch like a TV show. To be honest, what he's been wanting us to watch is... Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu Kaisen. So we're both very big anime lovers. Like we, we just love watching anime together, but I just need to be like in the right mind frame for anime. Like when it gets to this time of night, I just don't have the effort to have to like read subtitles. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna go take my makeup bath and then get comfy, have my snacks, get cozy. 
Hello guys, we do not have a lot of time to get ready today so we need to do this very fast. So today, first of all, we're gonna go to the dentist because Ahmed needs to get some extra aligners. He's actually doing Invisalign like I did. He's currently taking a nap. <laughs> Honestly, I love that man but boy can he sleep and then after that we're gonna go for an ikea run i'm so excited to go for this ikea run guys i love ikea and there's like so many bits and bobs here that we still need to get honestly we don't even really have dishes here and he has been living here for the past month or so first and foremost that man has not cooked a single day that he's been here and then with that being said i just told him to hold off and wait for me to come because i just want to get the things that i want to get if you know what i mean i do also want to try and get something for my beauty room that i'm gonna make i just want to get started with my room and at least like get some storage units because the box of things that i shipped over here are still in that box and i can't really access them so it's kind of like i'm just using the things that i traveled with like i have got some things out but i just don't even want to like touch that place until i can just properly organize it i did a little tiktok search this morning and i think i'm gonna get those um ikea pack straws uh, well they're like wardrobe drawers and just like properly organize my stuff because even back in the uk i was having such a hard time with space because i get sent so much stuff i know it's gonna get very full very quickly and then once we're done with ikea we're gonna go and meet some friends so he has a friend here called ali and i've met him a few times i met him at the engagement and i met him at our wedding and he's just the sweetest human ever so we're gonna go for dinner with him and his girlfriend Sophia I think they're just trying to like link us together because I have like no friends here everyone is so sweet like even yesterday we went for dinner with another one of Ahmed's friends he's called Adi and we also had dinner with another one of their long-term friends they went to school with her like from a really young age and she's called Aya and she was so so sweet she's new to Dubai she's only been here for a month so I feel like they're just trying to get us connected connected with everyone and that's just the only thing that I was kind of worried about being here is am I gonna have friends because one thing about me guys my best friends are truly my friends from life like it's my sister first of all I've known her since birth and then there's Roger who is also my very long-term friend she's practically my sister as well and then I have literally one other friend Selena she's a long-term friend as well known her since high school I've not really made like really close friends like I have a lot of friends in the industry back in the UK but like really close friends I don't think I've made those since probably like college, sixth form college was the last time that I made like really close friends outside the scope of my comfort zone I don't like to make just acquaintances like you have to be a very specific person for me to be like you're like my lifelong friend and I miss making lifelong friends like I'm really excited to be out of my comfort zone here because it's gonna have to force me to make new lifelong friends because you know it's not good to just stay in your comfort zone although I miss my girls so much guys like more than you could even imagine I've been editing my vlog uh, my Kurdistan vlogs I'm posting my first one tomorrow and just watching it back honestly like it made me emotional i just i miss them all so much i miss my family so much but we're gonna stop talking about that because i will cry so and i've been pretty good with my emotions but as you guys know it's that time of the month for me i'm trying to keep it together and keep the momentum going i'm actually going on a brand trip very soon as in in a week i'm going to venice for the venice film festival so i'm gonna be walking another red carpet this will be my second red carpet my first one was the Cannes film festival basically i got invited to this whilst i was in kurdistan but i was so like so occupied with wedding stuff that i didn't get back to my manager obviously because i didn't get back to her in time i guess they just assumed that i didn't want to go so then when i got here and i was like oh yeah like what's the situation about this like you know what i'm actually not that bothered if i don't go because i do feel like i've been non-stop for literally i don't even know how long guys like i'm not even joking probably for the past half a year everything's just been non-stop for me so i was like you know what maybe it would be good to just relax here in dubai and then before we we go off to our honeymoon but it turns out that they do have a spot for me and i am going so there's that to prepare for now which is <laughs> great the thing with me guys like even though i will be overworked i can't say no to really big opportunities like this because you don't get invited to go to the venice film festival every single day so even though i probably could do with just staying home and chilling i will go no one's really bringing plus one so i'm not taking ahmed with me it's just gonna be me on a work trip to be honest i kind of miss it i've not really been working 
other than you know like getting content and vlogging and stuff like i've not been recording makeup videos really and it's been really nice but i'm excited to get back to work and just have a routine honestly i still feel like everything is just so up in the air that's kind of why i really want to get my my beauty room done because i just want to feel like i have a routine i have somewhere that i record like i'm recording in my living room right now and i don't want to be doing this so now I need to find something to wear to the red carpet. Luckily enough for me, Dubai is a great place for that. They have literally like boutiques here where you can rent designer pieces for red carpet. Okay, right. I'm gonna stop this now, finish getting ready, and I'll see you guys when I'm ready with Ahmed, hopefully, <laughs> if he wakes up in time. I should probably go check on him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eu não te quero constranger E muito menos contra Vi tão longe o que estás a fazer Não me queres acompanhar Um, dois, dois Hello guys I kinda look like Hagrid today I'm not vibing with my hair I don't think I've had one single good hair day since I've been in Dubai, which is very problematic. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I can't believe how much of a terrible job I did vlogging the other day. It wasn't even yesterday, it was the day before. But basically, to summarize for you guys, Ahmed was indeed sleeping. He overslept, so he rebooked his dentist appointment for today. Um, we didn't end up going Ikea either shock and we just ended up going for dinner with our friends and it was so much fun yesterday we did pretty much nothing but watch jujitsu kaisen which was lovely but today is a new day i'm actually going for lunch with aya it's so funny because we woke up this morning and ahmed was like do you want to go somewhere nice for breakfast today and i was like actually i've got plans and he's like what plans do you have because he knows like i have no friends here but we're gonna go for lunch brunch lunch because i've not really had breakfast yet and then we're gonna do some work i'm gonna bring my laptop and edit the next vlog that i'm gonna put up and then hopefully we can go to ikea meet up with this one i call you pretty but it never goes as planned you think it's funny i'm just trying to be a man I want to show you in the best way that I can That I'm so in love with you Try to be serious but you can never tell It isn't easy to confess how hard I felt When we've just been friends So this is what we've come up with guys I'm pretty sure this is enough storage for everything I've counted All my concealers, my bronzers So I think they'll definitely fit in here And I wanted to keep these um, opaque because I just feel like when you're storing makeup, it can get quite messy. I don't want to have to care about whether it looks nice. And then we've put these three uh, translucent glass ones. Um, so I'm not sure what I'll put in these ones, but something that looks nice that I want to display. I've got a jewelry little shelf here, and then I'm going to do like a little cute plant. So maybe my bags and my shoes and perfumes on top of here and like just make this part look all cute. But I think that's going to like do everything for me storage wise and aesthetic wise. Look at how nice this plant is, guys. I'm saying we should get it. Nope. We're gonna go get a proper plant like this. These are proper plants. We're gonna get something like this. We're not putting a tree in our home. <laughs> we're, not, we're not doing that. Baby, let's just get this plant. Nope. Nope. Do you know what his idea was? He was like, let's get a plant. Do you know what this man just said to me? He's like, do you want one of these for planting? Your day? Am I a child? Why do I love this mushroom lamp, guys? Am I really weird for that? I just think it's so cute. I really think we should get this and then drag it across on top of the island. That would be so nice. Does the island come up to you? Show me. The island comes up to you like here. The island does not come up to there, babe. Okay. Okay, wait, you hold this. The island comes up to where I know I can cut well. Yeah. So it comes up to here. So if that's hanging underneath it, that's good? Yeah. Someone's reached his limit. <laughs> this man is finished, he is done, he is hangry. Look at our trolley. That's a full trolley. We got plates, we got some cups. There's still a lot of things that we're gonna get on Amazon. But we got lights, we got everything. Honestly, the best part about IKEA has to be the snacks, the food, and the best thing about Dubai is it's all halal. <gasps> if you know, you know, we have to get these. We have to get lots of these. 
have to get these as well oh my god guys it's like heaven the best chocolate ever you're going crazy the thing is we're so hungry as well <laughs> probably gonna regret this my room is officially done guys so the people from ikea have just left and this is my new beauty room it's all done um we've got the pax unit system here it actually fit pretty well so fit just about there for um the plug socket not to get covered there's a good space with the door i'm thinking like to put maybe like a plant here i just i want to do something with this space because it feels obviously empty then i've got the desk i actually completely forgot to buy a chair and i realized that just now so i might like have to just use this chair for now it's a bit high i might have to just we have this lower one i might have to use that one this is the mirror i'm just thinking about where to put the mirror because i was like if i'm taking pictures in this i don't really want this to be in the background but then i'm like am i ever gonna actually take pictures in this do you know what i mean and then that's my wardrobe i need to put my lights i need to unpack all my things to put into the wardrobe there's just so much to do but we're not going to do any of that today because i actually have to get ready right now i have like 30 minutes to be ready and head out to um a place called the hour the hour dress yeah just the hour dress it's basically a place that you can rent dresses from i think did i mention this i don't know if i've mentioned this but you can rent dresses and i need to get a dress for venice i'm literally going in two days now and i don't have a dress to wear on the carpet which is insane i'm gonna go do that with sophia and then we're probably just gonna go to emirates mall and do some shopping have some coffee and lunch just a girly day out which sounds like so much fun to me honestly i've not had just a, like a nice little girly day in so long so i'm excited for the day and then i'm excited to come home and like actually fill out my space and you know what my balcony is actually so cute guys like i can't believe that i'm gonna be doing my content and then that's gonna be my view like this is gonna be my view it's definitely a lot better than my view back home so <laughs> let's go have a fun day and hopefully find a dress 